We are in Barstow, California, a godforsaken railroad crossing in the middle of the California desert. The only reason one could have for being in this town is stopping for coffee on the way to Vegas, or if you live here, you're scrounging the sagebrush for meth. We're meeting up with crew staple Mudflap, because he looks like he fits in here, and we're gonna explore what I think is certainly one of the worst towns in America, Barstow. Hello. Hello. We're looking for a friend of ours who's checked in, who's uh, on the huskier side. It's a little, uh, some would call him rotund. Big boned. Yeah. <laughs> she knows. Did he look like he'd just been sprayed down with a hose? <laughs> he does. I don't think so. He sweats Not sometimes. Not me, I just got here, so maybe You her. haven't seen him. Well, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, we're good. You're losing your focus, Leo. I'm sorry, yeah, you know, I did lose my focus. <laughs> I guess people would say that he's, he's challenged on the scales. He's pre-diabetic. What room is that? Yeah, can we please get the room? And if we could get a key so we could just barge in on his... Let's see, let's see. Do you know a last name? Yeah, it's, um, it is, uh, I do. Wow, I did not, I don't know his last name. Uh, we also, we do have some two by fours to reinforce his bed. So if it's cool with you, we, we, we can roll them in. Industrial strength plunger too, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that too, yeah. Okay. Thank so you. And th would, it, would, we be able to get a key, <laughs> would we be able to get a key too? Yeah, that would be so funny. Mm, I don't know about a key, what do you think about what a key? What do you think about a key over there? He wouldn't care. He is just one of those I, jolly fat guys. He's just one of those jolly fat guys. He's he used to work at a mall as a Santa Claus. Exactly, he's one of those guys, you know how there's the kind that like, maybe when they're down in a pizza, they're a little depressed about it. He's not yeah. one of those, he's no. jolly, he's happy eating a pizza. He'll, he doesn't eat his feelings. He doesn't eat his feelings. Oh, thank you so much. Bring him down here just for you. All right, sounds good. You guys are adorable, by the oh, way. You know how illegal that was? <laughs> we just, we, we just demanded the key. We're like, hey, a fat guy walked in, give us his room key. They don't know that we know him. Being charming helps. You're charming. It does. We have good looking guy privilege, especially in Barstow. In Barstow, I mean, they're- they Doesn't take much. Early. I mean, Nico's a Barstow eight for Nico is a Barstow eight. We'd give you nine if you had a better trimmed beard and lost a couple pounds there. And you know, the old beer belly. Nico, this is a weird time to tell you, but the Barstow scale goes to a hundred. So sorry about that, man. <laughs> you got a key? What if it was a random guy? Dude, it could have been bad. Yeah, what we did told you do? nothing. We were like, we uh, we we this handsome guy kind of looks like Hagrid. He's like, we, we were just we were just like this really square jawed guy with a great social media presence. What other descriptors do we use? I think we said like he he's very 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 intriguing. He's kind of well spoken. Yeah, yeah probably like Sasquatch in overalls, smoking weed out front. Probably. No, no. We yeah. said we said you were we said you were Dude, a, a philosopher. That was not okay. When did you? Because I took a bet that you were going to be either drinking or shitting or jerking off. Let's take a bet. Uh, drinking, shitting, or jerking off. He's doing one of the three. I uh, jerked off. Oh, did I turn off like 30 minutes ago now? Really? Yeah. Damn it, Leo! <laughs> Damn, we just missed it. You that wanted to go to Starbucks first. first. That was your fault. Shit. That was my fault. I thought three Girls, I'm gonna be honest, we tried to catch him up there jerking off, but we were three minutes too late. <laughs> we were three minutes too late. <laughs> they have great lotion here, I guess. They but they attach it to the bathroom walls. You can't take it to the bed with you. It's yeah, really it's annoying. Tough. But... Oh, it's all right. He's gotta collect it in his paws like a grizzly bear finding honey. Oh, I just put it in my belly. <laughs> I put it in my belly button and I dig a little bit. Oh, out. that is. <laughs> Oh, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. We're going to Barstow. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be back. Yeah, our cameraman's, he's a little wee wee f dude. <laughs> what brought you to Barstow, you know? Like what? Uh, cheaper housing. Okay. Uh, I was originally living over in uh, OC. Our mortgage is basically what we're paying monthly for our HOA. Who's we? Me and my wife. Nice. That's awesome. yeah. So you're getting laid. Yeah, oh, dude, you, you already know. Right here, <laughs> you know dude. He's getting laid. And it wasn't just, I'm getting laid, it was, oh, dude, you already know. That's, that's double getting laid. <laughs> what was your name, man? Ian. Ian, I know, is this a poison oak, what's that? Uh, this is psoriasis. Mm. Are you hitting the bottle at work? Because that might be re-inflaming uh, no. it. I can't, I can't function that well drunk. Gotcha. Well, it's enough for someone who manages a punk rock band. I, I get it. So little drinking. Which is easier, managing a punk band or a liquor store? Managing a punk 
happened. <laughs> because in this city, there's a lot of meth heads who come in stealing bottles, I imagine. But a lot of the guys in your punk band probably on meth. <laughs> That's right. He kind of just slipped away from us. Is that okay? Well, no, there's a giant black man went in yeah, there. And he, he, I, do you not see the giant black man down there? You no. You're looking at us. Well, because well, I don't see color. Uh, my bad. Well, there is a man in there, and he happens to be black, and I'm sure that made him uncomfortable. Not me. I'm saying that he seemed to be racially profiling the guy. Racial profiling in Barstow is a big, big problem. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, we got to ask, you seem to, when a large man of African-American heritage walked into the store, you seem to rush in to monitor his doings fairly quickly. I didn't know, he didn't stuff, even he look up at us. I he need to keep an eye on everything that goes on in this store. Uh -huh. I get it. But like, people you wouldn't even say, I've had old, like, little old ladies try and fuck us. No problem. Uh, gotta try watch and out. walk out with shit. But if uh, an old lady in her 80s walked in there, it probably would have taken you 30 to 45 oh, more no. seconds before you followed her. Oh no, for a fact I'm watching everyone. Leo, I want you to right now break down, help him with the pie chart of which races steal right. in this grocery store. So, half? African American. Right half? There. Wait, yeah. half of that? Right here. Uh, okay, so just a, okay, I see it. That's yeah. representative of the population. That's about exactly. 8%. Yeah, 10%, maybe tops. That's, what's that? White boys. White guys. Was that a quarter? Is that a quarter? 25%? Like a quarter. Looks about a quarter. Yeah. The rest, Ashkenazi Jews. <laughs> just mi mixed. What's up? How are you? What up, Eric? We got mixed. Love the GoPro. And like, yeah, and then just mixed. indeterminate. And then, Indonesian. guys, you look like Eric. <laughs> Eric, you're not about to go steal some liquor, are you? Uh, What's no, up, dude? Good? I like oh, Eric. Yeah, yeah, this is the man who came and recorded part of my festival last the hell? night. Hell, with the punk show? Yes. <laughs> That's right, man. I love it, dude. Oh, baby. You got the GoPro strapped yeah, to your chest? Eric, what are you filming with this, other than your own lovemaking? Doing everything like uh, accident from bar stores, chase the police down. You chase the police? Yeah. What do you do once you catch them? I just film them. How do you feel about Derek Chauvin? Derek Chauvin. The guy who um, took George Floyd's life. He kneeled on his mm. neck. What do you feel about that guy? Well, I got a lot of respect for it. For which, for which guy? For the guy that kneeled down, you know what I mean? Oh, so it, it, the, it. So why do you harass the cops with the camera? Or are you trying to get, blow them up? Like, yeah! No, Officer like Harris, no, no, flex no, no, for me. It's not even like that. What, what is it like? No, no, no. Give me your badge I do number. this for my YouTube and stuff like that. So when the cops see me, I'm cool with them. I respect them. They have oh, sure. For me. What if you go film one of these things and maybe there's something that seems a little unfair. Maybe it's a young Latino boy. Seems yeah. like just we came have, over from the border. Four cops are just beating the shit out of them. One's, one's kicking them on the... You got videos yes. just of cops? a young Latino boy and four cops, Rodney King in it. Sure. Just I, his yeah, the, one, the, the guy that got beat up right here down the main street, the black guy from uh, um, in the motel. Well, he's like this. He's like, all right, with his hands yeah. up, yeah. going down. So I guess the cops attacked him and started shooting him. Uh -huh. Damn. Whipping them, whipping them. And he it, was on TMZ. I put him on TMZ. And uh, you as a fan... You, TMZ? you as a fan of Derek Chauvin, I imagine you probably liked the officer's action. Yeah. There's a cheerleader, looks like maybe of high school age, she's handcuffed. Four cops have their penises outside of their pants. They're all standing in a, in a circle around her, yeah. masturbating. Right. What do you do? Shit. I'm gonna start recording and call the cops and yeah. call the cops at the same time. because I got Call the other, what if the cop, yeah. okay, you call, back okay. Up, Leo, back, back up. Two phones? Oh, that's perfect. Leo, it's not, four cops isn't enough. He's gonna call the rest of the officers yeah. to make this a straight eight way. Okay. I get it. You gotta, you gotta make it a party. You know what I'm saying? Eric, do you see yourself as the Ann Leibowitz of police hate crimes? That's awesome. You saw that too, didn't you, Leo? Oh, of course, yeah. Ann yeah. Leibowitz, she's like Ann Frank? Not exactly. exactly. A little wild. A lot, a lot of similarities. How's it going, man? Speaking of exposing yourself, you gotta... Oh, uh, let's give McCoy's light. Yeah, we got you, man. You want one too, Eric? We got you a beer. You want a shotgun for real? Yeah, so what you do... All right, he wants a shotgun and a beer. Oh, oh damn. Damn, man. Drain it. Hey, go. Oh, yeah. It's fast. That was a good one. I'll keep the cans, though. I'll recycle the cans. All right, here you go. Oh, yeah, because the homies. Hey, Leo, do you, think, you think there's any risk of our boy with the camera calling the police right now and then trying to entice them into doing what <laughs> they do best, apparently? 100%, yes. Yeah, I think that that's... For people who want to look good in these streets, I suggest picking up some of our new Agaramos Pinocha merch. This is a, a cap tip to our Latino fan base. It means uh, that we, and by extension, if you buy the merch, you get vagina. It's Cholo Danny and Cholo Leo. You know what I'm saying, Doc? You know what I'm saying, Doc? 
grab some. It's linked below. Sir, this is a very unique earplug. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that, that's my blessed nickel. What happened with that nickel to make it Sorry. blessed? Because I found the heads up. Found it heads up when? Just a minute ago. Okay, so it's, it's not that blessed. No. Do you do that every time you find a corn on the ground, you just put it in your ear? Yeah. And you, you know there's a 50% chance that it's going to be heads up. No, I look at it first. If, it, if it's tails, I put it in my pocket. Hell yeah. If it's head, I put it in my ear. I just think the word blessed right. might be a little grandiose for a coin you find face up. Nickel Were you money. just in the hospital? Even better. Uh, 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 a couple weeks ago. Right. What was the hospital thing? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. He said he, uh, two couple weeks ago, he's just using it now for the looks. Like, he likes the looks. You know. Sympathy tail, Leo. Exactly. We all know about sympathy tail. No, I just leave it on. Is that your chick? That's my wife. It's your wife. Awesome. How long have you guys been together? Thirty-seven years. Oh my God! Damn. Thank you for telling me that she was your wife, because I was gonna pretend I had leukemia in order to better. <laughs> That's my shit. Sympathy tale, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did she ever withhold some <laughs> on you? Like you oh. come home like after a long day of work, you know what I'm saying? You're like, listen, you better bend over so I can drive at home. And uh, she's like, nah. Want it, she's gonna give she it. She can give it. Hell to yeah, you. yeah, That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm you talking about. Right Hell here. yeah. yeah. I'm That's what I'm talking. Get after it, buddy. Nico could learn something from you. Nico is always like, you know, Jill, if, if you're in the mood, it's not, I totally understand, but maybe it's been six months. Yeah. Can I please get, can I just have a little bit of Yeah. She smacks She her. goes, I have to go on another girl's trip. Shut up. <laughs> I say you deposit your blessed nickel into your wife's slot. Got Hell yeah, yeah, you'll be even more blessed. You think we could put Nico in one of the tires and roll it in the parking lot? Yeah, let's ask him. Excuse me, sir. Our cameraman's a guy of slight build. Can I give you 20 bucks to put this little f***er in a Firestone and roll him down the hill? Uh, I'll tell you what, give me 40 and I'll do it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. yeah. We're building yeah. discipline. Put him on the highway. He's falling apart. Jesus, use some f***ing curls. Hell yeah. How's it going, man? man? We we got this bastard in some tires. <laughs> is it really happening or is it a product of your hallucinations? We'll never know. <laughs> he won't know. Yeah, exactly. No, he's hallucinating. Dad? Hell yeah, dude. You guys look like Dad. related. You guys look related, dude. I've been looking for you. I'm looking for you. Why do you guys look exactly alike? Well, that's scary. <laughs> what you got here, man? What's uh, the store about? Shop. Would you like a beer? No, I don't drink. Oh, no worries. Thank you, though. Well, I do. It's a thrift shop. What kind of stuff, uh, where do you get your, your thrift thing, the things All that donations. are in there? All donations. Yeah. Wow, that's a good business model. Yeah. Mind if we see your, your wares? If you break it, you buy it. Remember. Yeah, mud flap. We're looking at you. I don't think you're going to fit down some of the yeah, aisles. I'll walk anyway. inside and the door. Multiple accordions. Didn't see that coming. Wow. Wow, it is a church. There's never been an apparition? No, Can you be sure of that, no sir? Balls or sir, sometimes apparitions will take place in a building and you'll be looking the other way. I ain't smoked that much crack. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. This might be the sanest man in bars, though. I think we could talk anybody else to believing there were apparitions. How much for the teepee? I'm like a mud thrift shop. It was staff only. Quit being such a curmudgeon. I want to get through this rope. Wait, it's not a work area. I want to be in there. I want what's in there. Oh, you can't have it in there. Come on. It's the same with women. It's the same with roped off areas. I want what I can't have, Leo. Yeah. How much, sir, do we have to bribe you to get into the staff only place? What's that? It's a woman's area, is it? <laughs> of course. So now you're trying to pull the gay card on me. That's how you're trying to discourage me. You can go in there, but if you do, it means you like dick. You know, he, uh, he always tells me it's a raggedy Ann. Ann. It's a raggedy Ann. It's yeah. a raggedy Ann. They called raggedy Ann a raggedy Ann because she was the neighborhood jizz bank. That's right, yeah. She was, uh, I mean, she was, uh, she had some trauma early in life, so yeah. she uh, was well known to blow teams of guys, like she liked the, uh, she teams. blew the rowing, the rowing team, she yeah. blew the baseball team, she blew the football team, she blew the basketball team, sure. and I think, wait, she blew... The Dodgers when they were still in Brooklyn. Oh That's God. right, yeah, yeah, way back in the day. Yeah, it's yeah. an old doll, it's an old doll, man. Yeah, they were all uh, white I'm still. From New York, so. Maybe we'll give this little bitch some tentness, huh? Well, it, it, get your dick sucked by Raggedy Ann. You don't need to put a blade to her throat. Okay, I'm sorry. You said that we can go wild in Barstow. You said if you want to commit a crime, Barstow's the place to do it. That's Sir, I'm he's used to eliciting blowjobs through force. Yeah. <laughs> this is a novel 
thing for him, is what I'm saying. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. See, so your mom, she threatens guys in order to suck their dick? Yeah, yeah. we had to eat. We had to eat. I yeah. get it, dude. I get it. She was a good mom then. Yeah, she you was know a good I mean? mom. Yeah. Is there, are you uh, Josh us, or did your mom used to actually suck dick for food? Did she threaten them first? I think she more likely did that, yeah. She okay. threatened first, yeah. Well, I, you know, wow. our parents all had their foibles. Is she still with us by any chance? Because I'm in the market for a blowjob. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you, her, I'll give you her, her number. She might be busy, though. Damn, is she living in town? No. Damn it. Where'd she live? She doesn't live at all. She died here. Oh. Damn it, dude. What, what if she was a couple that, that places? Makes it cheaper, though. Yeah, that makes it cheaper because we can just, we can, dig her, we can dig her grave up and you can face her skull, dude. <laughs> is this this channel's first dip into necrophilia? Probably. Not you got, last. You got to be excited. I thought she was going to be in a local trailer park. Like, yeah, come over here. I'll take care of it. Oh, dude. That's my aunt. Yeah. Dude, Danny, you, this random hat with Vladimir Guerrero on it. That's really funny, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Have these been cleaned? No. Please Put it away. Vladimir's still here somewhere. Danny, wait a second, dude. There's a Barstow College hat, dude. Barstow We've just College. been told they're not clean, Leo. Wow. You want to support the, the Barstow College Vikings? Not really. No, I don't really want to support them. We were a runoff campus last time we were there. It takes a lot to get run out of Barstow, I'm telling you. Well, we managed it. It's like the lowest town in us. Sir, you said that Barstow was the worst town. What'd you say about it? Well, it's on YouTube. Worst town in America? One, yeah. Hey, it's on YouTube? It, I think yeah, he's watched our YouTube. channel, dude. So, did That's somebody awesome. make a Maybe. Video? Which channel? We did a video called Worst Town in America Barstow. You ever stick your finger up a girl's butt? It might be good to take a rake to the uh, the shit. Oh, he's going to miss this free throw. I promise you that much. Let's go, Stow! That was really? the premise of the yeah. video, yeah. Then I seen it. <laughs> it was a big video out here. We heard it got, you know, Sir, got some views. I know we've talked a lot about blowjobs, but right now, since you're a de facto fan, you're going to have to suck my dick. <laughs> um, I don't suck any, no. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, that big shit, huh? <laughs> and I, I help the homeless, but I ain't going to do that degree. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So. Yeah. I look homeless. It's right. honestly not a bad glove. Well, well, I was. I actually, mm. I was for about seven years. Oh, you were homeless for seven years. And then um, the guy that owns this place found me in the desert dead. I died from the heat. It was 117, something like that out. And I was what were you doing in the desert? Tent. I was homeless. Mm. So I lived in a tent. But anyways, they found me Jesus. naked in a ball in the middle of the desert, dead. Jesus. Did you like? Did you meet God? Did you go to no, heaven? No, I didn't see anything, dude. Really? Just black, that's it. Just black? Yeah. Do you but, like, I, but I felt a lot of I felt a lot of pressure off of me, if that's anything. All right, but so maybe the... You know, no problems, no anything. Maybe your like, soul was going to heaven there. Or, you know, well, could have been in purgatory. What happened out of it is, after you, when I was out there, I wanted to die. Mm. It was more like a suicide thing, mm. but because I, I adopted my kids out 32 years before and all this other stuff, and I had my kids, my lady died, my best friends, everybody's dying from the COVID, and I was like, well, I, my time. This was recent. Yeah. Uh. So I woke up, and the first call I got was from my son. He found me after 32 years wow. and called me in the hospital. It's the first voice I heard. He's one of the reasons why I wanted to kill myself, period. And he was the first voice that I heard on the phone at the hospital. So since then, I've... Got my SSI, I got this job, I got a home, so, you know. Congratulations. Congrats, so, man. So shit does happen. It's Thank God, well. dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. You're yeah. back, dude, and you're, yeah. you're, you're also awesome, and you got some great comedic timing. <laughs> you talk to your son still? Yeah, he calls me every day. He's Hell called, yeah. He's calling me dad again and everything else. Damn, yeah. my daughter was with him. Your mom still, she's not in the my picture? My mom's dead. Oh, yeah, but it was, That's the one I'm disappointed yeah, about. Yeah, but like I said, <laughs> I know, I, just, I, mean, I can hope. 32 okay. years, so. You guys want to be in our YouTube video? What's up, dude? Uh, oh god, he's gonna punch you in the nutsack, dude. How so, dude? You're kind of li like low key fast. You wanna see how fast I can go? I'll call out my flip flops. Sure. This kid's a speed right. demon, dude. Does he have any aspirations of playing wide receiver at Barstow CC? Yeah, he's gonna be a linebacker. He's gonna be a linebacker. Is he? How'd you know, Mud? How did you know? What? She's, he, she just said he's gonna be a linebacker. Because I'm a football guy. You know, I know I know future linebacker stud when I see him. Is this a young Brian Erlacher? Oh, easy. I'm of a course. fan of football. Hell yeah, who's your team, bud? Well, his, his team is because of his dad. What? Raiders. Hell yeah. You know, Raiders fans, a lot of drinking, a lot of violence. You okay with that, Pops? Yeah. You're okay with that? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. It's Raider, good teams. Raider Nation's pretty good. Raider Nation's good. I've seen a lot of Raider flags. That's guys. good. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. well, yeah, you're going to be on the field. You can't be drinking. I just want to do baseball. Oh, sure. well, oh, well, well, we're changing sports. Fair enough. Follow your Buddy, I, follow your I, I was a baseball player. I played in college. I played at UCLA. Mom, I'm going to you on this one. Okay. 
Football or baseball? Where do you see Junior? Oh, God. Multiple sports. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Different. Do you see him as the white Deion Sanders? Mm. I mean, Deion I Sanders the man. That is. Well, Deion Sanders played baseball professionally and football professionally. Oh, so really? that could be him, yeah. too. So did Bo Jackson. Is Bo, Bo, Bo Jackson's an African man, right? They were both African-American. <laughs> both, both guys that did it <laughs> okay. were uh, African-American. It's, up, it's Danny Mullen. Right now, son, we're just trying to figure out if you have the right racial makeup to play both sports at a high level. Correct. <laughs> uh, have you ever played Roblox? Nah, Have you no. mud flat brilliant? Okay. Well, actually, tell him who you watch. What who you watch when you watch YouTube? He's like, yeah. I watch YouTube. I watch no Preston. Off. Preston. We were watching the newest seasons of Skippy Toilets, where we have a speaker woman teleporting toilets and even a new Titan Skippy. You know, I'm gonna say this, Mom. Preston. Less roadblocks, less <laughs> Preston, more yeah. Oklahoma drills. Yeah. Oh, go but we need him to do some yeah. Oklahoma. And, and you know, we can start. They say that you need to start a kid oh, at. Yeah, uh, yeah. You start start a kid on yeah. creatine around twelve. I say start him at eight. <laughs> right? Get him on that creatine. Get, get him that? on that creatine. Like three months. Perfect. Put him on the creatine. Put a, put a little bit in his milk. They say wait till he's nine for Bulgarian deadlifts. Right. I say start those on the birthday of eight too. Correct. And then, of course, there's a little. There's also just TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. It's usually for guys in their forties. I say start them around twelve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our cameraman likes to play cards. He goes there for the creatine. He goes there for the prostitution, the degenerate gambling. He likes the cheap slots. He likes the cheap. <laughs> I likes those too. <laughs> well, that's a rude awakening for uh, for Barstow. But yeah, go for it. Let's see what he's got. Wants to punch you. Oh, like a good one. Forget the white D. No, I, he asked me. He was very polite about it. Wow. You know, he asked me, but I love the manners. I love the manners in Barstow. She was very concerned. No, no, he asked me. He asked me. Ain't nobody gonna bully you in school, that's for sure. Yeah, we went to every channel. How old are you? Seven? Hey, wait a minute. that actually And no meth, no weed, no cocaine, no crack. No alcohol. So you're at least 14. No liquor. I know that. No oxycodone. No Percocets. Creatine push ups and unadulterated rage. That's right. Can I show you how many pushes I can do? Do a handsome push. Might as well see it. We'll get it doing with him. <laughs> cool, dude. What's your name? Collins. Leonard? Leonard. We'll look for Collins Leonard? Dude, that dude, that is a name. major league name, that dude. Is a major league You're name. gonna make it to the big, dude. That's a name name. Collins Leonard of the 2 2 pitch. It's out of the park. He might be a UFC fighter, huh? Now batting first baseman for Barstow College. Collins Leonard! Woo. Now transferring to USC and getting sucked off by the hottest cheerleader on the squad. Collins Leonard! Now taking down the hottest Raider at after a thousand yard season at running back, Collins Leonard! Yeah! That is a great name though, for real. Hey, you guys are awesome. Have a great day. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> We're at the Barstow train yard. This is one of the first autumn afternoons of the season, and it's just, it's just beautiful out here. Everyone's been so nice in Barstow. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be hot and kind of like shitty, and like, I mean, we did almost step on a needle, but there's that. There was a needle on the ground. Yeah, and you know, it's great. And this makes me feel romantic right now, because about four and a half years ago, Leo, we filmed our first worst town in America. That's right. Iconic right video. here in Barstow. That's right. And uh, just, no, not Felish. Come on, dude. Can we not do it? Can that be so? Uh, love you, buddy. It's been a, a many more. Imagine yeah. in ten years we're gonna talk about that video. It was an People unbelievable. Really Hopefully, video. you'll still be there to celebrate. With the <laughs> hey, man, I'm, know, I'm on the scale. That video <laughs> wouldn't be anything without the people of Barstow. Hey. Man. Now, we, dude, people nice. of Barstow are awesome, man. This is the second time we've kind of discovered that they're awesome. We just said that it's true. For 20 bucks, you can get a case of beer, talking fish, and see some titties. For and you for Snickers, Mar, you got a bar job. <laughs> yeah, man. Wait, when did we see titties? Well, not yet. The day's young. Uh, I was hoping you didn't do something with that mom when the kid went away. <laughs> Though the second half of the video is going to be available on Patreon for the people who support what we do out here in the wild. Yeah. 
check it out there. Also, Agaramos Pinocha merch. Leo and I. Yeah. Check on that below too. You know what that means in Spanish.